Hey guys, we're going to be making a knife out of an old lawnmower blade I found this on the side of the road. Yeah, the engine actually still works, but I'm going to put that onto maybe a mini bike or something like that. But for now, I'm going to just use this blade and turn it into a knife. So first up, just take the blade off. It's going to be different with all of them, but with this one, it's pretty simple. You just have to undo that little bolt right there. So this is my homemade forge. I just got a couple of bricks and made a rectangle out of it and lit the fire inside. Then I'm going to use their hairdryer um, to power it. I'm going to use this to flatten it out and then also to harden the steel. So the next step is to leave a gap in there. And um, you put, you connect a hairdryer to the end of a tube. I only had square tubing, obviously round tubing would be better. Grab a piece of metal, shove it right in. I want to make sure it's right in, in the coals, otherwise it's not going to work. So just put this through there, to that little hole there, and fly her up. So next thing you want to do is um, draw up and cut out a um, knife on cardboard. So I did it pretty much just to suit me, to suit my needs because I wanted to use it while I was camping and bushwalking that type of thing. Just make whatever size you want, whatever shape you want, um, and yeah, cut it out. And I just used some super glue and glued it down onto the um, blade and I'm just cutting it out now with the angle grinder now I don't really have any tools I'm pretty much only going to be using the angle grinder for the rest of this maybe a couple of hand tools as well maybe a drill when you're cutting this out I just cut out the small chunks first so I cut out the small chunks like that little grooves and um, leave out whatever you can grind down later with the angle grinder will make it easier wherever you think you're gonna make a mistake just leave it out and then cut out all the big stuff make sure that you've always got something to hold on to it too all right so cut it out um, it's really rough which is perfect because that's what you want and always made sure I had a gap um, between the cardboard and the metal so I don't want to be cutting the cardboard I just want to be cutting the metal um, just to make sure that well, it's always better to cut it larger and then just grind it down so you don't make mistakes. It looks pretty good. The only thing is, is that I can't, see, you can't really see that very well, but that's not exactly straight. So I'm going to have to flatten that out in the forge again, which is a bit annoying, but you got to do what you got to do. So instead of a bench grinder or a disc sander, which most people use to sharpen the blade, I'm going to be using an angle grinder. So I've just duct taped it up and um, I also took the guard off it, which makes it extremely dangerous. That's danger. Now you just want to drill your hole through there, just make sure it's the same top. Um, I'm just doing this ball. I So once you've got it to a point where um, it's pretty pretty narrow in the middle, um, you don't want it to be razor sharp like as if you've already sharpened the knife. You just kind of want it to get very close to the middle just so we've got the shape of it. So what you want to find is a metal container, something um, that's not going to light up when the oil catches light because it will inevitably happen. Uh, I'm just going to use an empty gas uh, cartridge that I've cut the top off, uh, just using the angle grinder. You can use anything you really want though. So you're going to want to um, get a wire and just wrap it around the knife somehow. I've conveniently got a, got a hole here that I can put it through. 
Um, this is just so it makes it easier to dip it into a can of oil. So you just heat this up until this magnet um, doesn't attract to it anymore. And then just dip it into this oil um, until it's cooled down. been grinding it down you can see that um, there's certain patterns on here it's actually from the lawnmower not the heat treatment you can grind that out but uh, I've chosen not to for two reasons firstly I actually really like the way it looks I want to keep the rustic look and secondly to grind that out it's gonna make it a lot thinner and I really don't want to make it any thinner because as you can see at the end because that used to be a lawnmower blade it gets a lot thinner there Uh, so I just baked the knife for um, uh, I think it was two hours. As you can see, it's lost a bit of its color, so I'm going to grind it down and uh, make it back to its original color. So I'm using an oil um, grinding stone. So pretty much you just get your oil. I'm just going to reuse this kind of oil. I'm just trying to cover it with some oil. All right. So now you want to get your knife and um, you want to put it at about a 30 to, 30 to 40 degree angle and um, you kind of just want to want to go from here and you want to go up and then back down Okay, so for the handle, um, I'm going to demonstrate this on a ruler because I've already done it on the knife. Here's a closer look at it. It looks pretty cool. Um, I would have obviously liked something that was a bit prettier. Well, not prettier, just, you know, looked a bit nicer. But um, I thought this was more functional because in a survival situation, rope is definitely extremely important. Uh, that's what you're going to do. This is so different with one hand. Just start it on tight to the hole, right there, tight to that hole, and then just wrap it around, just normally, just like, um, so difficult with my hand, just wrap it around like that, really tight, obviously bunch it together though, like that, just wrap it like that, and um, go all the way up to the end of the handle and then all the way back down and then tie it again. Now this is the more difficult bit then you're going to need to cut a piece of rope about double the length of this. So it's, it's about the length of two times your arm. Just cut it that way just so that you've got extra just in case. Once you've wrapped the um, knife around twice uh, you're going to want to start this wrap on this end here. I'm going to demonstrate it on this just so it's easier for me. Let's get a piece of string. Put it under. And now, loop it around like that. So then just twist it once. And then you end up with a loop like that. Now go under and do the same thing on the other side and wrap it around again like that and keep continuing this make sure that each of these knots is uh, adjacent otherwise it's going to look pretty crap um, and you can do it as tight or as loosely as you want so thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed watching it um, don't forget to like and subscribe because there will be heaps more videos to come